So I think in life, we all go through what some would call hard times, right? Things get difficult, things get challenging. And in these hard times, I think that if you can embrace them and move forward with power, not only are you going to get through the hard time faster, but you can take more from the experience. And I think what separates the average to the legendary to the people that really uh, continue to evolve, continue to grow, are the ones that are able to embrace these hard times instead of shying away and use them for making them better as opposed to making them worse. So we back at the WeWork today, um, getting some work in, and I was just reflecting on this idea of hard times. You know, what is hard? And ultimately, I started to realize that over the years, I've really developed this reframe of a hard time that not only allows me to be, again, able to move through them faster and feel better going through the process, but also I believe that I take more from the experience and therefore it helps me to grow and get to new heights even faster. So before I dive into specifically how we're gonna do this, I wanna give you a cool story that I heard from my man's Gabe and it was actually a photo, right? It was a photo of a Buffalo and if y'all know Buffalo, you know, in their environment, sometimes they have snowstorms. You know, they live in fucking, I don't know where Buffalo live, Alaska. Let's go with Alaska. And in Alaska, when the snowstorm hits, the buffaloes, what they do is instead of waiting for the storm to clear, they go straight through. So it's this very powerful photo. Um, if I can find it, I'll, I'll clip it here in the video. But it's this powerful photo of a buffalo going through the snow and basically, um, that's how they get through the storm the fastest. So, uh, along the theme of that photo, along the theme of how Buffalo approach storms, I think this transitions perfectly into what we're talking about here today. So, how can we practically use the hard times, use the storms in life, and not be used by them? Well, I think it all comes down to this concept in psychology that is called a reframe. So, our emotional state, the way that we feel about our experiences, is going to be determined partially in what we're focused on at any given time, but also partially our subconscious belief system, right? So whatever we have unconscious or subconscious beliefs about experiences are going to influence our emotional state, right? So this is the things that we say in our head, these beliefs that we say in our head that oh, I just lost my job, so therefore life is gonna suck. Or I just broke up with this girl and that means that life is never gonna be good again and I'll never find love again. Or, um, you know, I'm so out of shape, I'm always gonna be out of shape and I'm never gonna be able to get in shape. Or I have social anxiety right now and I'm never going to be able to overcome this, right? So these beliefs about these hard times are what actually produce the emotional state of feeling uncomfortable, feeling sad, feeling depressed, feeling all these negative emotions. When really, what we need to do, drop the phone, but we're back. So really what we have to do is reframe these beliefs in a different way to use the experience for our greater good. So a positive reframe that I would use to overcome a negative experience or something that is quote unquote hard is in the word hard itself. So a lot of the times we label experiences in life as being hard. And I had this epiphany on a, a, a live I did the other day. If y'all missed it, go check it out. It was called Men Are Losing in 2024. And in this live, this guy was talking about how he wanted to lose weight, get in shape. And he just said, it's just so hard to hit the gym or so hard to eat right or something like that. And I said, you know, it's really not hard because anything, a belief that I have that has served me well, um, that I reframed in my mind, because it's all how you look at it. Like who's to say what's hard or not? Like, you know, who's the determiner of what's hard? So for me, the way I look at hard or easy, and I got this from Jim Rohn, was that 
if it's simple, then it's easy. And if it's easy, it's something that you could do. Rather, if it's, you know, something that's simple, but uncomfortable, like going to the gym, it's simple to get in shape. You have to go to the gym, you have to eat right. So it's not hard, it's not a complex problem to figure out. Like, to me, rocket science is hard. Like, to me, like, with Elon doing, electric cars, trying to get shit to the moon, like, that's actually hard, right? So that's a complex problem. Anything that's simple, but maybe just a little uncomfortable, like most of life, I believe, is simple. You know, just work hard, be consistent, show up. Pretty simple stuff, right? Um, but simple doesn't always mean that it's going to be a comfortable road. It doesn't always mean that there's not going to be challenges or things that we have to overcome. So when, we, when these challenges arise, when these things arise that we have to overcome, it's important for us to reframe the quote unquote challenge or anything in our life as that, as a challenge, as a opportunity, as something that's in our way from getting to where we wanna be. And all we have to do is figure out a solution to get there as opposed to this hard thing because then you just presuppose that it's going to be a painful journey you presuppose that you're not going to enjoy the experience you, you presuppose that you know it's either probably always going to stay this way or um you know you don't have the ability within you to overcome the challenge when in actuality we all have the power the god-given abilities within us to reframe these challenges in a more positive light to not only again feel better but get more from the experience when it comes to wisdom and the lesson to apply going forward in life and make better decisions and make better choices, right? So we can get caught up in this victim mindset that we enjoy the sympathy that comes with hard times because, you know, as human beings, our behavior, the choices we make is to go towards pleasure and away from pain, right? So a lot of times we can look for sympathy when we go through problems because people make us feel better when we come to them with our bullshit. Oh, this just happened at work. Or, oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, oh, that must be so tough on you. Yeah, it is. So now you get this dopamine hit of sympathy because you're seeking that when you actually complain or talk about problems like that's what you're doing you're seeking pleasure that's the only reason why you're doing it subconsciously right consciously you may just want to vent quote unquote so i mentioned that to hopefully relate to the overall concept in this video and what i feel like is the most empowering idea which is you have the power to reframe experiences into a more positive light and what this does is when you look at things as challenges or uh, things that you just have to overcome, you realize that not only is it necessary, but it's inevitable. Like problems are inevitable. And if you quote unquote wanna be successful or um, have an extraordinary life or take your life to the next level or transform, you're going to have to not only deal with problems well, because if you're gonna be running a company and you know so many different responsibilities, but you're going to, have to be dealing with bigger and bigger problems. Like there's people getting sued for fifty million dollars today. I just saw Kanye he getting sued for two hundred fifty million dollars from Adidas. Like, imagine the mental stress of two hundred fifty million dollars you're being sued by, and you're looking at your bank account, and maybe it's not there, right? So, as you rise, as you become more successful, the challenges and problems are only going to increase in magnitude however they don't have to increase in difficulty because hopefully through implementing the things that we talked in this video you become stronger you become more mentally resilient and you become more equipped to to deal with these challenges when they come and you can approach them from a calm cool logical analytical problem solving perspective because that's going to be your most empowered state to actually move forward, get the job done, solve the problem, and um, ultimately grow from the experience. So 
Hope that makes sense. If you like the video, like the video. Comment what you want to see next. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.